All right, this is video number one of three. This is showing you how to do a two-handed surgical knot. So the way you're going to start this is setting up with your uh, your Ethicon knot tying board uh, with the purple strand on the left in this case and the white strand on the right. And the way you're going to set this up is actually right before you do anything else, you're going to cross these over the top so that the white is now going to the left and the purple is going to your right. And you'll notice that the white is actually coming closer to you uh, in front of the purple strand. So this is this is how you're going to be set up. You're going to grab these two just like motorcycle handles, right, so that the free ends are going towards your pinkies, like right there. Uh, that would be the free end there. And so the first thing you're going to do here for the first move is you're going to make a nice little loop of the, the white strand over your thumb. And uh, you always want the purple and white strands to be going opposite directions, and so in this case the purple strand is going to go over to the right uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make a little bird beak, okay? So the bird beak on the other side, bird's going to come through the hole, right? So you're just rotating your hand, you're not letting go of these two fingers, they're always attached here. So you see how I just rotate that through. Bird grabs the worm on the other side, so I'm going to, okay, so I've made my loops, I made my bird beak, comes out through the hole, grabs a little worm on the outside, and pulls him right back through where he came from. Okay, and then on the other side, you're just going to grab the purple strand and pull it nice and tight. Don't worry, we'll go over that again. But that's the first move, and notice how it lies nice and flat as any square knot should start out. The second part of this move is the, the first part in reverse. And so instead of uh, making a loop over the thumb, we're actually going to make a loop over the, over the first finger. And again, we want the purple and white strands to be going opposite directions, so I'm going to lay my purple strand over going away rather than coming towards like the white strand here. And again, we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to make our bird beak. Bird goes out through the hole. Again, not letting go of these two fingers, just rolling it right out. Grabs the worm on the other side, pulls him through, and grab on the other side. Now you'll notice that if we pulled this down, it would be all twisted. So what we actually have to do is cross our hands and lay that down so that it lays nice and flat. And you'll notice that this looks like a nice little square knot. So to make sure you're doing this right, you should have a white loop here with two purple strands coming out, and you should have a purple loop right here with two white strands coming out. Okay? And notice that now that we've uncrossed our hands and tied that knot nice and tight, that we have the same setup. We have white going left, purple going right, and the white strand is coming closer to us across the purple strand, which is farther away. So now we can do that again. So going through it nice and slow. You've got your white strand going to the left over the top of your thumb. You're going to wrap the purple in the opposite direction towards your right. You're going to make your little bird beak here. You're going to rotate him out through the hole. And you're going to grab the little purple worm outside. And then you're going to drag that worm back into your little nest. Okay, on the other side, you're going to grab him. And you'll tie it down nice and tight. You can make that nice and straight. And again, now that you've done that, you're going to use your forefinger for the opposite move. Again, you're going to want your purple going to the other direction. You can make your bird beak, rotate him out, grab the purple worm, pull him through the hole, and yank out. And again, to lay it nice and flat, we're going to cross our hands and do that. And you'll notice after a couple of repetitions that you should get this nice little ladder pattern going on here. Um, and that should tell you you're doing it correctly. Uh, and if it doesn't look like this, be sure to just kind of like straighten out your knots every time and make sure it looks pretty. So that's basically it. Uh, check the description box below for uh, links to the other two videos in this series, uh, tying one-handed knots and tying instrument ties.